So, seeing as the last keep sale on loan went so well last season, I thought why not, let's do it again this season. Again, it's the same concept as last time, I've made a tier list on tier maker, which you can find in the description if you want to do this yourself. And yeah, basically I've got three tiers, I'll keep, a sell and a loan, and I'm going to go through the whole of the war squads and rank them, see whether I would keep them, sell them or loan them. This video is going to be a bit more of a podcast slash live stream type video, so if you want to have it on in the background then that's completely fine. But before you go, make sure you do like and subscribe to this video and the channel because I'm going to be doing a lot more over the summer talking about Wolves and transfers and just everything going on at the club at the moment. Without wasting any more time, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so here we are with the tier list. Uh, yeah, got every single player from this season. And also a few loan players as well. You know, not all of them because we don't want to be here all day. I don't want to waste your time and I don't want to waste my own time. So we're just going to do a few loan players. But um, yeah, if my nose sounds or my voice or everything just sounds a bit messed up that I've got some weird hay fever. I don't really know why it is. My nose is playing up. So we're just going to get on with it. We're going to get straight into it. Um, Jose Sarr is going straight into keep. Um, no questions really about this really, he's been, he's been so good, our player of the season kept us in so many games, um, again you could say he's dropped off a little bit in the last few games, but who hasn't in, in our squad, let's be honest, I think um, maybe sometimes he can be a bit rash every now and then, but I think he's kept us in so many different games this season that you, you're going to have to keep him, and he's our first choice, and I hold my hands up, I was completely wrong about him at the start of the season. When we first signed him, I was I wasn't convinced at all. You know, we, in my in my head, we was going from Portugal's number one to put to Portugal's third, fourth choice keeper. Which again, yeah, but he's proved me completely wrong and um hundred percent, hundred percent in there for me. Uh, John Ruddy, I'm gonna put in sell at the moment. There's like a few talks that he's gonna be signing a new contract or whatever. But at the moment, as I'm recording this, is it looks like he's leaving. Looks like he's leaving on a free. Uh, Sarkic, I wouldn't, hmm, I wouldn't be totally against seeing him as second choice next season. Again, had a really good first half of the season at, at Blues. Uh, he might have won Player of the Season maybe for them, or I feel like he won some sort of award for for Birmingham. I can't remember what it was, but again, had a really good half of the season, and then just struggled a bit with had a really bad injury. But um, yeah, maybe you could say. Maybe he needs another loan now to get to get his fitness back up after being out for for a good what probably four four five six months, but um, I wouldn't be totally against seeing him uh, seeing him second choice. Um, Kilman, straight and keep for me as well. Always been always been a fan of, a fan of uh, Max ever since I saw him play. Uh, just very composed on the ball. You know, loves loves the ball at his feet, can pass, um, and loves driving out with the ball as well from defence. Um, which I don't, we don't really have. Bolly used to do that a lot as well, but uh, I thought Kilman's done it really well. Also, um, again, again, he it's, it's spoke about it a lot, but the, but the foot sale is so so calm and, and composed on the ball. Uh, left-footed as well, which is very rare nowadays also. Um, also, he's been playing on, on the right of a three, and he's left-footed, and he's been doing very, very well there. You know, he he's, hasn't really put a foot wrong, to be honest, and seeing him next season either... On the on the left of a three or the left of a um, of a two in, in in the middle, then I think that'll be great for him as well. Being more on the, on his stronger side, I think will suit him a lot more. Um, again, you could say aerially hasn't been you know isn't up to standards. You know doesn't doesn't you know uh, get as many goals or or get as many headers on target as he should have. And you know maybe that's one thing he could work on aerial um, aerial you know defensively and offensively as well, uh, winning balls aerially then. I think other than that, he's been, he's been very good. Uh, Connor Cody for me, uh, again, it's a weird one. Really dropped off, and you know when you've been when you've been subbed off a half time after being pretty much outplayed by Timo Puki in Norwich, then doesn't really you know doesn't really look good. But I think yeah, I'd, I'd keep Cody whether whether it is him playing first choice or be more of a bit part player. I think even just around around the squad, around the dressing room, would would, would be very good. Um, so yeah, for me, I'd, I'd keep I'd keep Cody Cody round. Uh, Willie Bolly, I'm gonna put Bolly in cell. Just again, great servant to the club, and probably I could say one of the best one of the best Wolves defenders I've seen. But yeah, 
had a lot of injuries this season, a lot of injuries. I think he pretty much missed the full up until after like AFCON was when he really got back fit. Um and yeah, he's really struggled with injuries and also just hasn't been up to the standards and what is he, thirty one now? I think again, great servant to the club, but I think it's time it's time to move on. Uh also with Sace as well, again, hasn't it hasn't had the injuries but has really dropped off uh, especially after after AFCON as well. Um just really hasn't been up to the standards and, and you know, he's getting a lot of offers from, from Seville and I think Marseille and a few other clubs as well. I think Atalanta or somewhere like that. A lot of offers. So I think it's time to, uh, for him to move on as well. Again, great servant, second longest serving player, but I think it's time. I think it's time to move on. Next, uh, Totti Gomez. This is a this is a strange one because he's been very good while he's played, but is he is he up to the standards of where we want to be European football? I probably wouldn't I wouldn't say he is. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in. I'm gonna put him in keep. I think again left footed as well. Maybe back up to, back up to Kilman. Uh, I think he's he's definitely more than good enough to be a backup. Um, and the loan's not gonna do him any good because what is he twenty four or something? So, I'll keep him in keep, but I'm still a bit unsure about that one. Uh, Mosquera, I'm going to put in loan. Uh, again, when I first saw him in pre-season, um, I thought he looked very promising. Still a very a very raw player, not not the you know not the final product, but he looks very good. He he seemed to have all the attributes. Very tall as well, very strong. Loved the tackle. Um, he seemed to be seemed to be the perfect uh, the perfect centre back, and uh, you know one for the future, but. Just really struggled with injuries and been very unlucky. Um, been playing in the under twenty threes more recently, and I think he's been doing pretty well. So I think a good loan for him out, maybe Championship somewhere in Europe, would we're, we're doing very good. Uh, eight Nori, again keep for me. Again one of my favourite players in in this Wolf squad uh, this season. Uh, again some for some reason Bruno Lage doesn't really fancy him. Whether that's because of you know he can be very laid back from from what from what you've heard from other players he's very laid back and maybe doesn't you know give 100% of what he can in training or whatever but um yeah he's been so good you know he's such a good player and why is he still only 20 he's got the world at his feet um so 100% 100% keep for for eight Nori uh Marcel I mean he's pretty much confirmed he's leaving so and um you know what I'm happy to see that uh Samedo again keep for me as well I think these two should be our first choice next season I think Samayda I think we've missed a lot ever since he's been out injured for the past month or so I think we've missed him a lot on that right hand side right hand side um, like an outlet ball I think he's been so good this season and probably our most improved player for me so uh, yeah 100% 100% keep Samayda Johnny as well keep again coming back from two with they ACL, ACL injuries I believe coming back from two of them and been as consistent as ever, you know, scoring goals as well. But you know what you're getting with Johnny, you're getting a seven point five eight every single game. Just so consistent and can play on the left or the right. So one hundred percent keep keep for me. Uh Matinho I I would I would keep him for one more season, but this season I would actually play him as that bit part player, you know, if we if we're winning the game, bring someone on like Jean Matinho who can, can can just control the tempo of the game would would be so would be so good for us and would probably win so many more games if we had someone like Matinho coming off the bench just to just to slow the game down control it at his his pace so experienced and I think having a having a role of that next season would be so so effective for us. Uh, Dendonka, oof, it's 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 a difficult one. I think I would keep him personally, but. I wouldn't I wouldn't have him starting and whether he would want that for another season, probably not. He'd probably want to go and find first team football now. Um but I think we just need someone who can find who can play to Dendonka's strengths and you know what, what his strengths are and we just haven't really been using him to that. And again he's very versatile, can play uh, can play as a defender or, or as a midfielder as well, that box to box midfielder. But I would I would keep uh, Dendonka. Uh Luke Kundal. Um, again, I would like to keep him, to be honest. I feel like he could have a big impact. Again, not starting games, but I think, again, a, a big impact he could have. But I think realistically alone would do, would do him very good. 
uh, again, he's got that little bit of taste of first team football now. He's going to want to go on now and, and you know play regularly next season. Uh, Neves, I mean, it's obvious. Obviously, I'm going to keep Neves, but it's whether he's actually going to stay, which I very, very much doubt it now. Very much doubt it. Uh, Pedence, again, I'm going to keep Pedence as well. I think been a very, very underrated player for us this season. I think without him in the squad, we've created little to nothing. Um, we've struggled a lot to score goals without him in the inside. And again, it showed in the past few weeks. We've just struggled to create anything without him there. And, you know, it's, it's been it's been very good. Been, I think he's gone very, very much under the radar, but then um, Neto as well, I think, been slowly getting back to full fitness. You know, the first couple of games were a bit iffy, but, you know, as the seasons went on, he's, he's been getting a lot better. And I think with a good, good pre-season under his belt, I think he'll be, be a good player next season. Uh, Huang, oh God, Huang, what, what... I'm gonna put him in sell. Now I know, I know, Foson will are never, are never gonna sell him. Especially they've just six months before they've paid what twelve million. They're never gonna sell him now. They never will. But I, I would sell him. He just, it just, it just doesn't really offer us much. Like I've never seen, I've never seen a professional footballer with a, with with a first touch like Quang has. Like it's, it's unbelievable. Like, I don't. No, I, I can't. I can't. I, I was. I was tempted then. I was tempted to put him in keep, but I can't. He honestly offers us nothing. So, I would sell him. Are we going to sell him? No way. No way would we sell him. Uh, Trinko, we're not going to. We're not going to sign him. So, and he's not going to. He's he's pretty much going to Sporting. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 a buy from. Uh, we'll see you later, Trinko. You know, you had a good a good few games, a good a good couple of goals as well, but. It's time to go. Uh, Chem Campbell. Again, I really like Chem Campbell. Been scoring goals for fun in the under-23s. I think a good loan for him. Uh, we're doing very well. Uh, Chiquinho. Uh, pretty much been our bright, spot, bright spark over the past few weeks. 100% keep him. Um, I think, again, with, with a good pre-season um, un, under his belt, uh, whoever the manager is, whether it's Larg or whether it's someone else, I think it can be a very good player. Again, like my square is still very raw, still not the the, the full potential, um, but you know there's a few opportunities where you could say you know just make the right decision there. He could be a world class player, um, but yeah, for me I think there's a very good player in there and a good pre season, a good a good uh, few more games as well. I think it'll be a very good player. Um, Fabio Silva, I'm gonna keep Fabio Silva again. I honestly think if we if we look past the goals and the assists, I think he's done pretty much nothing wrong when he's played. He's give everything. He's, he's tried everything. He's tried to create his own chances, and you know the the creativity is literally nothing in this squad. Um, and he's been trying trying so hard to get a goal, and and he's deserved it, and he really has. And yeah, hundred percent keep Fabio for me. Um, now Raúl Jiménez. This is this is the interesting one. This is going to be it. I am. I'm actually going to sell Jimenez again. Um, just hasn't been up to it. Just really hasn't. Whether that's to the head injury or what, you can't blame him for for that or anything. But he just hasn't been up to 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 the player that that we know and we love and you know we've seen for the past what two three seasons or whatever. But I think it's it's probably time for and time to move on. And you could say he's past past his prime at the moment. Why is he thirty one? Or something. So, I would if we get what fifteen, twenty million for him, I'd be happy for him for him to go. Um, but yeah, sentiment, sentiment. What's the word? Sentiment apart. Is that the right word? I feel like I don't know if that's the right word. But yeah, um, I would I would sell him. Um, I uh, I didn't know Hoover was back here. He should have been with the defenders. But uh, Hoover, I'm gonna put in Hoover in loan. Again, hasn't showed a lot. Why, uh, since he's had the opportunities, but how many opportunities has he really had? Not a lot. And with a lot of these fullback options, we're very strong in in fullback positions. Um, so I think alone for for Hoover would, would be good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the full squad. Now moving on to some of the loans. Uh, Adama. Again, I would love to keep Adama, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to look like it's going to be a swap deal with like Ricky Pudge or. Gonzalez or something, which I wouldn't be 100% against. 
Um, so yeah, I would love to keep a Dharma, but it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Uh, Gibbs White, I mean, give, you'll see, I've literally got, you can see just behind me, I've got literally a, a signed shirt with him on my wall. Like, would you really think I'm going to say sell for Gibbs White? Um, I mean, it looks like as well from talks that, you know, Large has spoke to him and wants him in his plans, which I think he, he deserves. Like, literally, there's nothing else he could have done this season to, to warrant that, really. And, and, I'm, and I'm very glad that Sheffield United didn't get promoted um, because if that ha would have happened, then I've, it would have looked like, more than likely, he would have moved there uh, on a permanent deal. Uh, but for me, yeah, 100% keep. You know, pretty much build. You know, we need... The, the the problem with with Gibbs White was we've we've never really had a system that suits him to be honest and you could say he's played a lot of positions this season at Sheffield United he's played he's played out wide he's played as a second striker he's played as number ten in midfield and he's played a lot everywhere he's very he's very versatile like that and I feel like it's done him uh, it's done him so good this loan at Sheffield United and I'd be building you know the team around around this guy because he's he's a real real like match winner. And it's just everything that we need. A number 10, creative, can score goals. He's very energetic. He wants to play. He just enjoys his life and enjoys football. And I'm I'm building a team around this man, I swear to God. Um, Sanderson, on a put in loan. I feel bad for Sanderson because, again, he had a really good first off the season at Birmingham. Was playing well. And then we, we bring him back, send him out on loan to QPR, which, again, a better club. Uh, competing at the top but they've already got a set of squads and they're not going to bring in a lone player and just throw him straight in when they're fighting for something which I thought was a very very weird move but um, I would I would uh, I would send Sanderson back on loan um, again to, to, to a good uh, a good championship side uh, Giles again I'm, I'm going to put him in keep because it's a bit 50-50 me me thinking that, but also Bruno Lars has spoken so highly about him. I could see him in and around the first team. You know, you could say Ain't Norrie and Giles are very similar players uh, in a way. But I wouldn't be surprised if we saw him around, around the first team. And, you know, he's had a very good season. Um, again, very similar to Sanderson. Had a really good first off the season. Then we've loaned him back out to a, a to a side that are fighting for something. And they've got a settled squad and struggled a little bit. But um, again, what ten assists, eleven assists this season um, from from left wing back? Then, yeah, hundred um, percent. I think would be in and around the first team. Um, Corbiano, I'm going to put in loan again. Had a very good loan as well at, at MK Dons. Uh, when I watched the playoff semi final, he's pretty much probably MK Dons' best player. Um, so yeah, I think a loan maybe to a championship side would, would do him very good. Uh, and last but certainly not least. We have Mr. Patrick Catrone. Um, I'm going to put him in cell. I'm sorry, Patrick. You just this. It could go down as maybe one of the worst signings in Premier League, not Premier League history, in in Wolves' history. Like, what are we going to get from now? Like, what do we spend 18 million on him? And I'd be surprised if we got three, four million for him now. Like, it's been what's happened to this ban? I have no idea, but. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, my keep sell loan uh, completely completely done. So, like I said, there'll be a link in the description to the tier list that I've just done so you can do your own and tweet me a picture of it or whatever on Twitter or send me it on, on Instagram or let me know in the comments on this video what you change or, or if maybe there's an unpopular opinion you have of a player. Then, then let me know in the comments down below as always make sure you like and subscribe to the channel as i said i'm gonna be doing a lot a lot of wolves content over the summer just talking about transfers just everything going on with the club you know pre-seasons in a few months and whatever i'm gonna be doing a yeah, season review of, of our whole season and, and a lot of stuff like that so um yeah if you enjoy this then make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one